This fight is brought to you by BFI, proud presenter of Rumble in the Cage 48 and Advanced Medals. We welcome to the cage in the blue corner an independent from Edmonton, Alberta, Bobby Kalmakoff. It is now time for the main event here at Rumble in the Cage 48. We got a big heavyweight matchup. Coming to you from Lethbridge, Alberta, I'm Marty Basita, joined cage side by Brad the Bonesaw Cardinal. Coming out first here on GoFightLive.tv, Bobby the Animal Kalmakov. Yeah, I don't know anything about Bobby. I hate to say it. I'm almost embarrassed to say it. He's been in the sport a long time. Um, from what I understand, he used to be an Edmonton Eskimo, so I expect him to be a very powerful guy. Professional football player. I mean, he's going to be a good athlete. It's one of those cases where we see it quite often here at Rumble in the Cage where it's a guy who's done athletics and other sports, and then he, he latches on to MMA a little bit later maybe than... And we see certainly some of the fighters here tonight, but a little bit uh, more of a veteran here in the cage is Bobby Kalmakoff. Yeah, he's got a lot of experience, a lot of, a lot of good names on his record, so. We'll see if uh, tonight is the night where he puts it all together in the main event here at Rumble in the Cage 48. In the red corner, fighting out of Canadian Martial Arts Center, let's make it loud for Lee Mia! And really, if you follow mixed martial arts in Canada, and especially Western Canada, really no need to introduce our next opponent. He owns the Canadian Martial Arts Center as well as Rumble in the Cage. A great promoter of Canada's longest running mixed martial arts promotion, but he's also a competitor. And tonight, Lee Mian steps back into the cage to show he's still got it. Yep, I have nothing but respect for Lee Mian. He is a, a pioneer of MMA in Canada. Uh, he was a martial artist before MMA even existed, and he's evolved with the sport. Uh, somebody I really admire and I look up to a lot. I think he's the epitome of what every martial artist could be. We gotta go back to last August though, the last time that Mian did fight. Kalmakov does have a couple of fights this year under his belt. And as we look at the tail of the tape, Kalmakov, 37 years of age, six foot four inches, weighs 234 pounds up against 46 year old Lee Mian, six foot three, 232 pounds, a spell booking 232. Yeah, this is the smallest I have ever seen him. Now we don't mean that he's out of shape normally, but he's really slimmed down for this fight. For this main event, we send things up to cage announcer Vince to give us the official introductions. This is your main event of the evening. Brought to you by BFI, proud sponsor of Rumble in the Cage 48 and Advanced Medals. It's a heavyweight division professional bout contested over three five minute rounds. In the blue corner, an independent from Edmonton, Alberta, weighing in at 234 pounds, Bobby Cal, come on! In the red corner, weighing in at 232 pounds, fighting out of the Canadian Martial Arts Center, Lee the Gladiator! Your referee in charge of the action is Chris Vickery. Fight gentlemen, you know all the rules. All I ask is that you fight clean, fight hard. When I say stop, you stop, all right? You're gonna touch gloves, touch gloves now, go back to court. All right, this heavyweight matchup, Bobby Kalmakoff in the black trunks, Lee Mean in the blue trunks. Expect the bombs to start flying here early. Chris Vickery is our official. Big kick by Kalmakoff to start things off. 
And I'm not sure what Meehan hit him with there, a left hand. And that is it. Lee looks very disappointed. A shocking development here in the main event at Rumble in the Cage. Bobby Kalmikoff, a TKO, I guess, just seconds into this first round. And Lee Meehan gets a victory. Well, I'm not sure what happened. Uh, maybe we can, can see on the replay. Maybe Lee did hit him with something. I know he hits freaky hard, but uh, I'm not, I didn't see it. Kalmikoff came storming out, tried to kick me in. Misses a... Lee did hit him with a left hook. Well, fans clearly not uh, fans, impressed, but... They're not happy, but I've been hit by Lee Meehan, and I, I could see it. Sometimes when you catch a guy behind the ear, that's all it takes for a guy to go down. So I guess that's what's happened here in the main event at Rumble in the Cage, 48. And just wait a second. The fans were asking for one more round, but I, th I don't think that's going to fly. <laughs> Well, Not in a sanctioned event, so anyways, we'll send things up to Vince for the official announcement. The official result of your main event of the evening brought to you by BFI, proud sponsor of Rebel in the Cage 48 and Advanced Medals. The winner by TKO, eight seconds into the first round, in the red corner, Lee the Gladiator! So he's the owner, he's the promoter, and he's the winner tonight. Lee Meehan will send our own Brad Cardinal back into the cage to give him an interview. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with the winner, Lee Meehan. Lee, big left hook, guy goes down, tell us what happened. Oh, I've knocked out lots of guys with the left palm strike. I just didn't expect him to go down with the first one. I was expecting a war. I've had uh, bronchial pneumonia all week, but I was determined to fight in front of everybody and put on a good show. And I just won an all-out war. And uh, like Jordan said, I, doesn't realize, I don't realize how hard I hit sometimes, but I just wanted more. I wanted more. I, just, I don't get in here very often, so I want it to be entertaining and I want it to be a brawl. It was a well-placed palm strike right behind the ear. I've been hit by you, so I know what it feels like. Uh, congratulations. Anybody you'd like to thank? I want to thank all the corporate sponsors. If it wasn't for you guys supporting our event and buying the tables, we couldn't afford to do this for all the up-and-coming guys that it's all about and getting our guys to the UFC. And I uh, really appreciate all the support from Lethbridge and... We're gonna rip it up tonight and I'll have water while you guys get silly. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's hear for the winner. Leave me in by knockout. So Lee Meehan gets the victory in the main event at TKO, just eight seconds over Edmonton's Bobby Kalmikoff. And that's how we're gonna wrap things up here, fight-wise, here at Rumble in the Cage 48.